Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Fernando, how are you? Uh, so, so. I am going home. Oh, on your way home? No, I am going home. I am on the bus. Okay, no problem, no problem. We'll talk later. Okay, but um, I stay here, listen. Okay, excellent. Excellent, great. No problem. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah um, in this road, the connection. It's bad, I can imagine. So don't worry, if it's you disconnect, I will understand. Yeah, unstable, unstable, but no problem, don't worry. Okay, we are just going to wait for the rest of the people to come to the class. Thank you, teacher. Uh, a question. Yes. When my turn of ten minutes, tonight. Tonight you got the ten minutes. I think I cannot hear you properly, my friend. Sorry, that's the connection. Okay, I, I can, I, I leave. No problem, no problem. Just stay in line. Let's see who we got here. Hello, Roxana, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? It's fine. Tell me, how are you? How was your day? It was very interesting. Interesting. Tell me why. I In my work, I have um easy day because I don't have a lot of work. I didn't have. I didn't have. I didn't have a lot of work. But aprovechando que no está Yanira ni Marta, uh -huh. I can I can talk about that. Um, today I was uh, interview for a new job. Excellent. And I thought that it was in English, but not really. It was in Spanish. But I waiting for for the. the answer. Well. Let's hope everything goes well for you. And then uh, maybe I think a lot of things and I have a headache right now, but it's <laughs> it's lo del dia. It's lo del dia. Yeah, but don't overthink the stuff. Don't overthink, it's never good. No bueno. So okay, this is my problem. Don't worry, you're a woman. <laughs> That's normal. All of you are like that. Yeah. How and was how was your well, arm? It hurts. You have a um a cut. Cut here. Yep. And, and, you... and, and I cut also the, the ligament, also is cut. So 
just a matter of patience. Hey, look, you finally won over Janita. Janita usually is before you, but now you got before her. That's cool. <laughs> hey, Janita, you're coming late to class. What happened? I'm sorry, teacher. I was problem with my with my router. I use in another a mobile router. Oh, really? Can you see? Yeah, I can see it. How many internet connections you got? Uh, three. <laughs> because when 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 I moved to my new home, uh, here yeah, don't yeah you explained me that you are paying two services yeah yeah and then I have three because in my cell phone I have another but I need to use this router but oh, really. I don't know what well, happened. It's power off. You must charge it. You know, that helps. No, not really. I, I'm connected. I, I just disconnect. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Well, I got a hammer I can lend you. I can lend you. That helps. <laughs> yes, nice maybe, thing. maybe this is a solution. Yeah, that helps a lot. It solves a lot of problems. Okay, and yeah. well, let's see, let's see, Janira. I just need to ask a little thing to Roxana and then I come back to you. So Roxana, we were talking. I just love it when you get your those big eyes, like, wow. Sí, porque okay. mira, mira feo. <laughs> yeah, Not I understand really. that. I understand Not really. That. She is a Janira, liar. Janira is like that, you know. <laughs> this is the, this is a lie. It's not true. You should so get now, used to that. Okay. Nah. So tell me, Roxana, and what time did you start working today? What time? Roxana, I start. Roxana, what? Yeah. What time did you start working today? I start to work at. I, I start. Uh, uh, I no, sería I sign size since size se me olvida. Since since I since uh, seven a.m. Okay, perfect. Until Excellent. four p.m. Okay, cool. Now I want to ask you, Janira, what about you? What time did you start working? I start working at eight thirty. Okay, and you finish? Uh, close to close to six thirty. Okay, so you got two different schedules. Yes. You are in two different areas. Yes, of course. I don't know. You you stay in what is your department? Finance, uh, commissions. Commission. Maybe like a finance area. Payment or something like that. Okay, okay. Just give me a second. What about you, Janita? What's your area? It's uh, IT, but in this company, IT is very big because it's a split. Give me a second, please. Yeah, you're gonna hear, you know, the gun. Yeah, she's going to, okay, it's, you I'm know. I'm sorry, my, my, my dog. <laughs> yeah, we were going to call the police if you were mistreating <laughs> your dog. You know, I, th there are laws protecting your, your pets right now. You cannot mistreat. You cannot. No, not really. I I love them. I yeah. love so much. I like them, but I get I get angry, and you know, my wife is always like, "Don't mistreat the animals. The animals are." And you know me, I'm an obedient husband all the time. <laughs> okay, 
No, yes. I love them. She's she's close. That's why. She's close. <laughs> I I love I love my wife. Yes, I yeah, I yeah, yeah. amazed all, all that she say. I yeah, that's <laughs> what I do like, all the time. She's like a hmm. I don't really think so. In, in front of in front of him. Uh. <laughs> yeah, she's like a three meters from me, three meters away from me. So that's why I'm like behaving. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, thank you very much, Janita. Oh, by the way, how many pets do you have, Janita? You told me the other day, but I just forgot. Four, four pets. Four, two puppies and two old dogs. Oh my gosh. Yes, Four and, and one beard. And one what? Beard. Periquito. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, it's, it's, it's... Bird. No, they sound the same. I'm kidding. <laughs> Estoy bromeando. Esos sonidos son iguales. Okay. Yes, okay. But if you want to be specific, you say a parrot. A parrot, yes. I forgot this word, parrot. A parrot. Okay, guys, just give me a second, please. Okay, I am back, I am back, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ouch, 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 ouch. So you got four dogs, Roxana got one cat, right? No dogs? Mm, no, and maybe when I was 20 years, I think, I have a... Um, I had a little puppy, but she died because uh, she was a uh, um, enferma. Sick. 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 She was sick, and then she died. Uh, now I have a cat, but it's a a little cat because uh, she is. Uh, for months, I think. But I don't have a, I love I love the pets. I love the dogs, but it's it's muy complicado. Oh, it's complicated. Take care of them. Yeah, because it's, it, it, I think the cat is uh, has has a easy uh, care. Cuidado. Is yeah, a car. Yeah. But I think the dogs is um, complicated because need more time to need to stay all time uh, looking for uh, everything. Yeah. yeah. And with cats, you don't have that problem. You just, yeah. put, you just put food, they just need a, a place uh, to litter, and that's it. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, I love the, the dogs, but I don't have time to do. Uh, you know, it's it's a compromise. When you got dogs, it's a compromise. And now this. with my son and my cat. <laughs> okay. And okay. Well, well, and you got a husband. That also is another adult stuff. Correct. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What about you, Amber? I remember you got pets. How many pets you got? I have two pets. I have a little puppy and a um, cat. And a cat. Oh, nice. Well, good evening, Amber. Hello, welcome to the Good class. evening, teacher, sorry. <laughs> so you got a dog and a cat. Okay, which breed is your dog? Sorry, can you repeat me, please? Which breed? Rasa. Is is a French poodle. French. Uh, that thing is not dog. That's a toy. Yes, it's a little puppy, and it uh, how do you say travieso? Oh, travieso. Oh yeah, they are mischievous. They are very very mischievous. I know. 
my sister-in-law had one and he was always beating my shoes. Me and that dog hated each other all the time until it passes away. We hated each other. I couldn't see that dog. So she I'm was assuming, a destroyer. <laughs> yeah, she? all my all my shoes. Somber, how was your day? Tell me. Well, it it was a busy day, and in the afternoon. I went to the doctor because I I felt a little bad. Feel? I feel. feel I feel a little ill. Ill means is the same as saying sick. Okay, feel. I feel a little ill. Actually, it's in past. I felt. I felt. I felt. I felt a little ill. Yeah. Well, yes. what were your symptoms? I'm a doctor. Tell me your symptoms. Uh, well, um, I have a stomach ache. And maybe only that, but I I needed to consult with a doctor. Yes, I understand. Yes. Well, then we have to be careful. I mean, the health is very important. Exactly. Thank you, Thanks. teacher. Thanks to you. Thank you, Amber. Hey, Wilfredo. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. Wilfredo is suffering because right now there's a soccer game on the TV. And he is a soccer. He loves watching soccer, right? Uh, it is it is my favorite sport teacher. So you are so, suffering because... right now, Wilfredo. Lo tengo sufriendo. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you well. You are suffering right now. Usted está sufriendo en este momento. Because you would like to watch the oh, game. Of course. We still was uh, we still are playing, teacher. Yeah. They are still playing. They are still playing. They are still playing. Yep. They are still playing. Yes. Right now, well, teacher, La Selecta is playing. Yeah. How, what's the score? What's the score? One Let's, to zero. What's the score? Okay, winning one zero. Yeah, one zero. Teacher, yes. If if we talk about result about, about match, it's a can score. we say this is called uh, okay? I, I guess we we, uh, we could be say what about the result? You can what say is there. Yeah, you can say what was the result, but actually what you are really asking is what's the score? Score. Okay. Ah, okay. Because it's not the result, it's the score uh, marcador. That's actually what you're yeah. asking, okay? So the, the exact ah. word is score. Okay, ah. how do you say, how do you say Wilfredo when the, when the match goes one, and one or zero to zero. Equal. Empate. I okay. don't know. I I, I will never hear this word, teacher. Okay, I'll give I'll give you a, a I'll show you how you say it. Just give me a second. Okay, let's see, let's see. I don't. I was using this for something different. Okay, do you know uh, how do you call this, my friend? In English, you know what it Tie. is. Tie. Okay, yes, exactly that. Tie. So when the score is equal, 
You say it was a tie. Really? Yep. Right. It was a tie. So you tie the match. Interesting, no? Just, just, just it tie the match. Yeah, tie the match. Interesting. Yeah, it is. It is very interesting, right? Well, let's see. What about you, Wilfredo? We were talking about pets. Do you have pets? Two years, two years ago, I got one, a little Doberman. Oh, that's but a I, nice dog. Yeah, it is. It is. It is a good good pet because they are very very intelligent. Intelligent because my my oldest uh, teacher yesterday you told me how we can say mi primer hijo old oldest. My oldest son. My oldest son. He was training it. And it is, it is, um, he understand when we say it, uh, quiet, sit down, uh, or go to, when, when, when we go out and we, and we come back, always, it is, it, it is, very 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 happy when, when we when, when we come back about when we when you talk about your pet you can say he or she it's accepted really? when you're speaking yes when you're speaking it's ah, accepted. okay you can say he was very happy oh ah, yeah okay thank you i didn't know okay well but, in my case you know i had a hound i had a hound I had a hound. Me. What I mean? I had hound, uh, sabueso. Ah, really? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful animal, but um, my wife gave it away. <laughs> and yeah. then we got a, a chihuahua. Teacher? <laughs> no she comments. Is, she is listening to you. Yeah, Take her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I, I'm speaking like close. Okay, okay. Well, thank you, Wilfredo. Nice talking to you. Okay. Welcome to Jeff. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Sylvia, what about you, Sylvia? I have never asked you. Tell me. Hello, Sylvia. How are you? By the way. Hello, teacher. I am. I am very good. And you? I'm just fine. Just fine here talking with everybody. And now I'm going to ask you, tell me, Sylvia, do you happen to have a pet? Yes, I have two dogs. Um, and I, I have three, but maybe two months ago, one of my dogs passed away, sadly. Ooh. I'm still sad, <laughs> yes, but I'm, I'm trying to, to feel better, yes. Yeah, pets become part of the family. Yes, they are part of the family. I'm, so, I still feel bad, but but now so I'm trying are, to, to you get are, better. Listen, listen, you are in mourning. In mourning. Duelo. What does it mean? Duelo. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you are in mourning right now. Yeah, I know, I, I know, mourning. I mean. When we lost my cat, I felt so sad and depressed and angry. Yes. I used, to, I used to love my cat. My cat was nice. He was always trying to sleep with me. I mean, if I was laying on the sofa and I, if I was asleep, my cat, when I woke up, I used to find the cat on top of me. <laughs> yes, the pets are part of our family. Yeah, they become, yeah. they become part of the family. They become part of your family. Okay, so you got two dogs. Tell me, which yes. breed are they? Uh, I don't know. 
they appear there. <laughs> or perhaps, or perhaps a mix. They are half breed. Son cruzados. That's. I mean, here it's hard to get actually pure. Ahorita no que están con todas las puras. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. thank you, Zilvia. Nice talking to you. Okay, nice talking to you, teacher. Okay, before we continue, guys, I need to get the attendance. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla María Luz Guevara Calleja. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. Mar okay, no problem, no problem. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Roxana Ivette Asencio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asencio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Carlos is here. Present teacher. Oh, Carlos is on his way home. Yes. I just, I remember, I remember. No problem, Carlos. Let me know, teacher, let me know when you get. Edward, you get Edward. Back. Edward here, teacher. Edward, hello, Edward. Thank you. Edward Avenir Noyola Brito, present. Present, teacher. Excellent. Excellent, Edward. Great, 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 great. Just let me. Man. Okay, guys, let's see. But we are in the part of the conversation and we are not going to cut the conversation. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Who else do I have here? So, what about you, Maria? Do you have pets? Hi, Maria. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Yes, I have two pets or two dogs. Uh -huh. um, one, the oldest is a Pomerania. I, okay. I maybe have 10 years old. Ooh. And the other one is the most younger. And the youngest. The youngest, and I have uh, two years, two years old. Two years old. Oh my God. Yes, it's a big difference. <laughs> I, I remember that my dog's birthday was yesterday. <laughs> five years old. Oh, it wouldn't. It's all beauty. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, and tell me, which is your favorite pet? I mean, I know you got dogs, but do you like any other animals? Uh, yes, I like um conejillo de India. How do you say? <laughs> there you got me. I don't know how to call it. I've seen the word. You have seen the word, but I don't really know it. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Just give me a second. Maybe hamster? 
I don't know, perhaps some are they? I don't know. Google oh. says Guinea pig. Ah, yeah, Guinea, Guinea pig. pig. Yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> Thank That's you. That's what they are called, Guinea pig. Yeah, Guinea. I... Actually, Guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. Yeah, I know the yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> I like the Guinea pig. Um... Those are those are little rats, you know. No, uh, yeah, they are pig. rodents. They are <laughs> rodents. <laughs> yes, but is the most beautiful that the rat or the ma? Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I, I a friend of mine got a snake. Oh. A snake. <laughs> yeah, a big one. And that snake used to eat them, you know, it was nice when he was eating. I know. What is she Bye. I like you know. Okay. Thank you very much, Maria. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Walter. How are you? Hello, teacher. A uh, little better. Oh, that's cool. Five. That's cool. Yeah, uh, that's cool. And uh, tell me, uh, do you like do you like pets? What's your favorite pet? What you got? You got dogs, cats, arrows, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and that and dog, uh, los dos, <laughs> both, uh, both, yes, yes, dog. Uh, y, how do you say? No me gusta, uh, I don't like, I don't another, like, I don't like, uh, uh, Pets. A little, mucho los animales. Okay, yeah, you don't like animals. I don't like animals. Repeat after me. I don't okay. like animals. I don't like animals. That much. That much. Yes. Yeah. That means that much. Much. Uh, no mucho. I... Just give me a second. In my house, in... in, in, in... I had a dog, I had a, a two gut. Cats? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Well, you got animals, even though you don't like them. Yes. Okay, well, thank you, Walter. Nice talking to you. Okay. What about you, Rita? Okay. Hi, Rita, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Rita, how are you? Fine. Very fine. Tell, tell me, Rita, what about you? Do you like pets? Yes, I like pets. I have a dog. Its okay. name is Spike. And um, it, it's a pug. Um, oh. Yes. It's um, uh, it's uh, six years old. Oh, really? Oh, those are toys too. Oh, coming from the river. You gotta be very careful with them. Uh, I like oh, my little pet look, at, look at Wilfredo. He's got his little dog right there. It's a little dog, yes. Yeah, yeah it's like Rosanna's cat always hey, around. That's nice, that's nice. Actually, okay. it's, yes, sick. it's sick. Sex. Ooh. It's sick. sick it's sick. It's uh, eh, infección en el oído. Ooh, that must hurt. Yeah. That must hurt. That must hurt. Ah, okay. That, that must that, Hot. Eso debe doler. That must hurt. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's a um, walk de lado. <laughs> no sé cómo se dice. Okay. Sideways. Sideways. 
sideways. Like this, look. Sideways. Like sideways. that, sideways. Walk yes. sideways. Yeah, I can imagine. It must be hurtful. Not hurt at all. A lot. Okay, well, thank you, Rita. Let's okay. see, who am I missing? Who am I missing? Edward, what about you, Edward? I'm taking a poll. I am taking a poll. Estoy tomando una poll, una encuesta. I'm taking oh, a poll. I, I like uh, those. <laughs> okay, real uh, dogs or little toy dogs? Uh, real dogs. Road wire. Okay. <laughs> those are beautiful, yeah. yeah. Those are real dogs. The other ones in, are toys. In in the in the house, there are uh, four dogs. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Um, one is a good idea, but idea. four idea, but many I do not think <laughs> is good idea. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Who has got four? Who has got four? Yamira has got four. Yes, four. it's very difficult to uh, go to out with them when he need, when they need to, to walk. And oh, uh, how do you say, tiran de mi? Pull, they pull from me. Or they pull me. Yeah, they today I... I, I, estuve cerca, I near, I, was I close, close to, I was close to, to down because they uh, run around to me and around me, around me and how do you say Correa, court? Hold on, fall down, no, fall down. the lash, the lash. Okay, and the lash, in my legs in uh, oh <laughs> the lash twister twister on your legs the lash twister on my leg yes okay, okay well, yeah. very difficult it's terrible yeah Ma marta imagine. marta loved the dogs too oh really yes she lies she lies <laughs> I like I like hot dogs, you know they are delicious. Okay, let's see. And come, come on, here. teacher. Uh, the, uh, really, really two dogs uh, from my uh, sobrinos. What to say, sobrinos? Nephews. Nephews, nephews. Okay, nephews. Um, two are uh, from my nephews. And they are out of country, and we take care uh, of. Oh, you are of taking the, care of you. Yes, uh, I can imagine. It's difficult. Mientras están fuera, <laughs> for the while while they are out. Okay. While. Okay. Mientras. While. Yeah, I mean taking care of an animal is difficult. Yeah, in my case, I'm not that good, you know. I barely, barely, in my case, I barely, that would be understood as a duras penas. I barely take care of myself. So taking care of a pet, eh, hard. It's hard, and having more than one must be difficult. Well, guys, let's see. Today, thank you very much, all of you, and welcome to the class. Uh, teacher, Today, teacher, yes? what the meaning, barely? Uh, difficilmente, a duras pena. Thanks. You're welcome. No problem. Okay, let's see. Today we are going to talk about uh, models. Today we are talking about one of the models. Okay. And it's very, very, very interesting because today we are going to be talking about. Uh, the model should. Just give me a second. But we got a conversation. 
Uh, okay. Hold on, just give me a second, just give me a second. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see. We've got today, we are going to start. Uh, today, we start the section number four, unit number four. And we are talking about company procedures and policies. Okay. In your manuals, we are working right now. We are starting in page number 29. Okay, let's see. The other day we were talking about policies, actually. Let's remember, let's see, Roxana, tell me at least three policies from your company. Mm, maybe. Um be response responsible with the with your schedule okay, so connect perfect. on time excellent yes that's a policy um be careful with the equipment because you you have a day in your house okay if not you gotta pay mm -hmm. maybe i don't know <laughs> Most probably. Mm, bueno. And the three. It's okay. Just leave it up to it. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Perfect. Okay. Sylvia, what about you? Tell me two policies from your company. Hello. Um, maybe get on time to work. Okay. Um, Wear the uniform and be polite with our with our coworkers and also our clients. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Rita, what about you? Tell me two policies from your company, please. Um be careful the cars, the the organization. Okay. Um, uh, get early. Okay, be on time. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Maria, just because you got a, a, a weird cup, solo porque tiene una tapita extraña, tell me two of yours. Mm, the same at Roxana eh, because I work oh, in the same company. Okay. Do you have two more? Um, eh, call eh, or call, call the old eh, llamadas? I don't know. Take the calls, receive la llamada. Uh, um, answer all the calls. Okay, okay. We don't say answer. In this case, you say take, uh, okay. take all the calls. You take calls, okay? Take all the you can, calls. You can say you can say answer, but actually, in the most appropriate is take. You take phone calls. Okay. And the other one is um, I check uh, all, all the case in, in the platform and send an answer for email with the status. Okay, with the status. With the status. Okay. That will be all. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 Marta. Oh, Marta is from the same company, right? Gosh. 
Yes. A problem. Yes, That's teacher. a problem with you guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, tell me two policies from your company. But I share we a policy in my company and uh, I, I have another idea. Idea. Okay, Wilfredo, just a second. Tell me, Marta. In our case, is not allow share information with people external of the company. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not share or password. Uh, maybe is not allow use computer for personal use. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Wilfredo, please help me out with two. Okay. Um, one of the policies in my, our company is uh, no violence. Violence. Violencia. Violence. Violence. Violence at work. Yeah. We oh, can... yeah. You work with a lot of women. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine. You don't need to explain. Yeah. Women we can say that. to it is, it is allowed to show. Yeah, 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 I, I understand because, because the company like to to keep all the order in the about all the people, but it is in order to to operator, but supervisor and up. They yes, said uh, yeah. always many times our bosses forget this 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 poly. Policies. Because <laughs> policies, because sometimes they forget oh, uh, when when we, when they are asking about it all, sometimes yeah. hey what what's up? Uh, yeah, yeah. They people tend to jail okay. under when they get under pressure, sometimes they jail. This is Grita. Jail. It is yeah. like to choke. Well, actually, you got shout, you got yell, you got scream, and you got cry. Okay. Uh, and in English, you can use those four to refer to what we in Spanish refer just with one word, gritar. The difference is this. I yell out you like, Wilfredo, come on, do it, right? Okay, that's yell, right? Yeah. Es en enojo, en regaño, okay? I shout, hey, Wilfredo, come on. I shout, yeah. okay? Because, yeah. We, the, I scream, uh, listen, 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 listen. Uh, Le estoy dando la diferencia. Yell yeah. is when you're angry. Shout is when you perhaps call somebody or simplemente alzar la voz. Scream is when you get scared. Like when you are watching, like when uh, when Amber is watching a scary movie. When Amber is in a scary movie. <laughs> and, something, and something bad happens, she screams. Scream is out of fear. And the scream is cuando uno tiene miedo. Okay? Okay. And cry could be. Cry puede ser de congoja. Okay. Or when you are asking for help o cuando pedimos ayuda. Do you remember the song Cry for Help? Mm. There, there was a song in the 80s. Había una canción en los 80 Cry for Help. So like, yeah, something like that. Cry for help. In that case, it's exactly that. Cry for help. Okay. It, it ah. means gritar pidiendo ayuda o pedir ayuda. Okay. I'm okay. So you got different different situations. So in your case, you are explaining to me that sometimes bosses they yell at people. Yeah. 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 But then you 
you told us that too when when I can shout because you are um, far to me. If yeah. I, I want to, I can shout, hey, teacher. But yeah. I, I, it is, it is no, it is not correct because I, I want it that is, you hear it me. It is not it is not polite actually. Okay. Actually, it is not polite. It is never polite to shout or to yell. Realmente nunca es amable gritar. Yeah. But sometimes we do it. I mean, sometimes we have to. Okay. okay, thank you very much, guys. We were talking about policies because the conversation we got in our first and our first uh, uh, um, exercise is about conversation. Okay, now I'm going to share with you guys because we need to get on track with the conversation. See, remember, we are talking. We are working in page number 39 from Jumana. And I'm going to start sharing with you right now so we can check out the vocabulary. And I'm going to send you a picture of the conversation, okay? okay. There you go, guys. The conversation says, Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. I repeat. Okay. Now let me repeat, I'm sorry. Hey Max, look. I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, let's see. Oh, Carlos is already home. Hey, Carlos. Hi. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Ready, ready to participate. Yes. Uh, let's see. Francisco, uh, can you participate in the activity too? Yes. Because I'm creating the groups. Okay, you're ready for the for the activity, right? Yes, teacher. Excellent, guys. Now, groups are created. Please jump in. You got three minutes to practice. Hurry up. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm, I'm going to send you to a group, okay? Lo voy a enviar a un grupo. Okay, let's see. Right, you're going to be in group number five. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to the class.
is the user of drop. Nobody should do drop. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, I understand. Uh, okay. Hey, Max. Uh, look, I want to know what policy you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees, 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 employees should wear a uniform always. Oh, well, in my company, you shall not be letter. If you do this, you receive a warning. 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 Okay. And warning. 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 Perfect. Okay. And should you notify your superiors if you do something okay. wrong? Okay, Roxana, look at me. Notify, notify your superiors. Notify, notify your superiors. Like that, perfect. Okay. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes. Wrong, 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 wrong. wrong. I, I'm yeah. sorry. Wrong. Okay. Come on, the explicit sonido. Pone la lengua enrollada como que se la va a tragar y desde ahí sale wrong, 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 wrong. Like that. Wrong, wrong, wrong. wrong. Es, Perfect, es, Walter. Sería la W. Esa es la pronunciación Mute. de la W. La, no. Actually, it would be the, the proper, proper pronunciation would be wrong, wrong, wrong. But when we are in a conversation, cuando estamos en una conversación y estamos diciendo las palabras así continua, la W se nos pierde. Solo pronunciamos la R, solo que la pronunciamos más enrollada. Wrong. Mm, okay. Wrong. Yep, like that. Yeah, is wrong. there, I, I mean, uh, is there something wrong? Wrong, you see? Is there something wrong? Wrong. <clears throat> wrong de correr. <laughs> no, that's, that's run. What is the difference? Run. Run. You don't hear it? No. Run. Okay. Look. Problema. O oh, algo malo. Run. Correr. Run. 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 La diferencia, o sea, según entiendo, la diferencia es que el run de la conversación es más, la lengua va más adentro. Yeah. Run. No, no. Let's do something. No lo puedo. Okay, wrong. No. I no listen, teacher. I not listen, teacher. Teacher, we lost you. No, se no. ¿Qué dijo? Oh. Teacher, I not listen. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Just give me a second, but I'm working with the camera. There's something going on with the camera. I don't know if I on the camera. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, pronunciation, wrong, wrong, wrong. Problema, oh. wrong. Run. Correr, run, run, run. Escuche, wrong, run. Teacher, uh, wrong. Wrong de correr sería como con... Wrong, con una I don't hear you, Rosa. Pequeña. A I change microphone. Wrong, problema, wrong. Correr, run. Okay, wrong. Now you get it? Wrong. It's, yeah, that's, ese es el problema. Ahora correr. Run. Yeah, like that. You see, it's not the same. 
Round. Es como co correr sería como con una pequeña A. Round. Round, yeah. Round. 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 Y problema, wrong. Pero si me lo pronuncia con mucha A, ya es en pasado. Mm. Ok. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't worry, I mean. Oh, okay, funny. listen up, listen up. I'm just explaining this to you because you, you pointed out. Se lo explico porque usted lo mencionó. Actually, don't pay that much attention to it. On a regular conversation, sometimes people don't pronounce like correctly those little words, but they get just understood. Just work with the context. context. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Because... So don't, okay. I mean, don't focus that much on that. Okay. okay. Well, yes, you should. I continue. I see. I see. We, we also have that policy in my world too. You shouldn't do it. I think. Francisco, it's your turn. No, guys. Turn, turn. Turn, it's your turn. Um, give me uh, one minute. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Actually, don't worry. Uh, I I met your partner, Fernando. How are you, Max? Well, there I. Ajá, uh -huh, we catch you, Edward. You took off your glasses. Okay, Edward, the glasses. He takes them off in the class. I don't hear are, you, Edward. Are, are only for reading. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. I uh, catch you taking your glasses off like that. No problem, no problem. Okay, okay. Well, let's do the activity, guys. Let's see, let's see. Roxana and Walter, please, you're going to start. Roxana, you start. Okay. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Uh, how are you, Max? What are the many policies in my company? For example, employees show with uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you <clears throat> notify and your superior if you something wrong? Yes, you should. I see another police we had on my wall is the use of drop. Nobody should do drop. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. Okay, perfect. So too. perfect, perfect. Just remember, Roxana. Should, should. L antes de D no tiene sonido. Should. Okay. Now let's see. Thank you very much. You did pretty well, guys. Amber and Wilfredo, please. Uh, who will start, teacher? You, Amber. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. 
And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. Okay. I think so too. Policy, policy. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh, by the way, Alfredo, notify, notify. Notify. Perfect, thank you. Okay, teacher, teacher. Yes. And the teacher, and the and the first uh, when Bruno start to to talk, there according to the reading is I want to know what policies. It is okay. Policies. Yeah, policies. policies. I'm okay. Okay. And you can and you can say in an informal conversation instead of saying I want to know, you can say I want to know. Yeah. I want to know. Perfect. Have now, yours in the rain. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coming down on a sunny day. Yeah. <laughs> Edward and Rita. Edward, you will start, please. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policy you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policy policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify, notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it? I think so too. Edward, receive, receive. Okay. Receive, receive. Okay, thanks teacher. Okay. Carlos Antonio and Marta and Abelinda. Carlos, you will start. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employee should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. <clears throat> to do this, you receive a warning. Um, should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my, at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so. Two. Okay. Receive and superior. Receive, Carlos. Receive. 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 Say with me. Yes, receive. Receive. Like that. And okay. Martha, receive. superiors. Superiors. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Now. Carla Marielos and Maria Alejandra. Carla, you will start. Hey, Max, look. I, hey, Max, look. I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you re receive a warning. And should you notify your superior 
if you do something wrong. Yes, you should. I see. Another police we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the police in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Silvia and Fernando. Silvia Vendaño and Fernando Gonzalez. Silvia, you will start, please. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we had at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay. Fernando, notify. Notify and drugs. Notifies okay. and drugs, okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Francisco and Janita. Francisco, you will start. Okay, teacher. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policy you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, perfect. Uh, don't do drugs. It's too few and we are too many. Okay, let's continue. Need to get the attendance, guys, again. Just let me see, let me see, let me see. Hold on just a second. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito, Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López, Fernando Marvin González Martínez, Presentillo. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía, Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Thank you, Francisco. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea. Present teacher. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Vendaño, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. 
Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Ok, guys, just to remind you, solo para recordarles. Present teacher. Eh, Sorry. Thank you, Edward. Thank you. Solo para recordarles, guys, eh, remember the attendance is pretty, pretty, pretty important. La asistencia es muy, muy importante. Eh, I got some of you here. Mm. algunos de ustedes acá que hmm, no nos podríamos dar el lujo de, de faltar ya más clases para llegar a nuestro mínimo. Ok. Eh, con algunos casos en específico me voy a estar comunicando directamente. Recuerden que la asistencia es muy, muy importante. Eh, tengo algunos que sí ya estamos en el máximo. Que ya estamos, perdón, ya estamos llegando al mínimo con la clase de horas que comenzamos, pero tengo algunos cuantos acá que sí necesitan ¿Ven? que sí necesitamos este hacer el pequeño esfuerzo porque si no, aunque finalicemos eh, no vamos a poder probar como les digo más que todo es de estar constante en las clases que nos faltan. Ok. Luego. I got another problem. With some of you. And I'm sorry to make the pause right here. Y perdón que haga la pausa en este momento. But it's necessary. Tengo un problemita con algunos de ustedes. Que eh, con las actividades. Ya terminamos la sección 3. Y tengo algunos que me habrán hecho la mitad de la actividad de la sección 3. Eh, mil term que tuvimos que haberlo hecho hace más de una semana tengo un compañero acá que solo hizo la mitad y así me lo acaba then that means that we need to advance necesitamos trabajar remember it's the last week so if you can advance I mean I'm not asking you to do to go before me no les estoy pidiendo que vayan antes de la explicación because I mean Usually we do it like this, the explanation, then the exercise, the explanation, the exercise. That's correct, but I have some that are a little bit behind. Tengo algunos que se me han quedado un poquito atrás, so please, eh, en algunos casos muy especiales, les voy a estar llamando directamente o escribiendo directamente. Y les explico de antemano por qué. And I mean, don't take it as a, as a, as a pressure, y no es que les esté presionando, ¿no? Mostly it's because I want to know if there's something that is being difficult for you so I can help you. Que no se preocupen que no es para presionarlo. Es para ver si hay algo en lo que yo les pueda ayudar. Okay, perhaps an exercise was not clear so I can help you with a little point. Pues aquí hay unas excepciones muy claras y yo con gusto les ayudo. Okay, remember, I am here for you guys and now I got time. Y ahora tengo tiempo. You know, I got a lot of time so I can help you out. Puedo ayudarle. Okay. Now let's continue. Okay, today we are talking with Chur. I prepare a short PowerPoint presentation and what's in the PowerPoint for ustedes so we can analyze. Let me share it. Okay, let's see. Perfect, right here. And there we go. Should or shouldn't? Okay, look, should, we got should and we got out of, out of. Now, what's the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Why do I put it here? Because sometimes you will find people who use them indistinctively. Hay personas que las usan sin distinción. Some people use should and out of, and I mean, they use it the same, but actually they are not the same. Pero realmente no son When we say ahora, we are using mostly, we are talking mostly about, uh, cuando decimos ahora, estamos hablando más que todo de una obligación, okay? This is more an obligation than this. 
Esta es una verdad pura. Okay, ahora. But should. When we talk should, we are talking about a 50% obligation. I should, you know, I should see a doctor. I have a terrible headache. Next, advice, okay, advice, consejo. You should revise your lessons or review. You can say review instead of revise. In this case, revise is British. Logical conclusion, he should be very tired. He's been working all day long, okay? It's like, uh, it's like, let's see, it's like Silvia. Silvia should be very sad. She lost her pain, you see? Okay, let's, let me get something here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Perdón por la pausa, solo me estoy para aclarar algo before I forget. Pausa, welcome. Ok, let's continue. Shoot. Shoot is an auxiliary verb. A modal auxiliary verb. We use you mainly to give advice or make recommendations, okay? Talk about the obligation, but remember a 50%. Talk about probability and expectation. Okay, probability and expectation is like this. Es de esta manera. It's like, uh, let's see, let's see, okay. Oh, imagine that uh, you are uh, you are walking and you encounter, you are in a, in a mall, and you encounter there, Yanira. And Yanira is standing up, looking and looking at her watch and looking at her cell phone, and you ask her, hey, Yanira, what are you doing? Engineer says, oh, I am waiting for my boyfriend. He texted me. He texted me, uh, he is coming. He should arrive soon. He should arrive soon. Okay, that's expectation, right? Questions? Pregunta? Are we okay up to here? Peter, you can use should uh, when you are talking about uh, weather? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. You look at the sky and you say, hey, man, it should rain tonight. Mm, okay. An expectation. And the pronunciation for the other is like uh, ahora. Ahora. Out to. Out to ahora. Ahora. It's raro. Okay. Thank you. It's British. It's used in spoken British English. Okay. Se usa en el inglés británico hablado. Ahora. Okay, we talk about obligation, probability, and expectation to express the conditional mood. Okay, we use it in one of the conditionals. And the conditionals, okay. Uh, if I had, well, if Roxana had attended the classes, she should have understood the topic. In that case, we use it. Cuando vamos con el if, 
okay? There's when we use it to express a condition. If Roxana has attended two classes, if Roxana or Lisa has attended two classes, she should have understood the, two, the topic. Ella había entendido el tema, right? Let's continue. To replace a subjunctive structure, it's, it's the same with the conditional, okay? But we are not going to get into that. The basic structure for should is, the auxiliary verb should is invariable. There is only one form, should. Remember, modal do not change. Los modales nunca cambian. The main verb is usually in the base form all the time. Look, he should go. He, the subject, plus the auxiliary verb, should. The main verb, go. He should go. El debería ir. It's like that. El debería ir. Let's continue. Look at the basic structure again with positive, negative, and question sentence. Look. In the positive, affirmative, he should work. Negative, you should not go. Question, should we help? Look, the order, subject, auxiliary, not just for the negative, and the main verb in the base form. Questions? Pregunta? No? Okay, let's continue. Okay, we use chew for something that is a good or positive idea. Children chew eat fruits every day. Yes. Children chew eat fruits every day. That's possible. Shouldn't for something that is a bad or negative idea. Children shouldn't eat junk food every day. Look again, this is a negative, something bad. Children shouldn't, shouldn't. Now, look at the next one. This is Mark. He has a stomachache. Mark has a stomachache. Okay, Janira, tell me number one. He shouldn't eat candies today. Okay, he shouldn't eat candies today. Perfect. Excellent, excellent. Just let me do something so I can get you all here. Ambar, number two is yours. Sorry, teacher. Okay, number two, right? He, <laughs> he has... He should or he shouldn't? Uh, uh, medicine. He should take medicine. Very well, very well. Ah, uh, sorry. Should remember because Should. Mark he has a stomachache. He has a stomach, so he should take medicine. Number three, Wilfredo. He should visit the doctor. He should, he should visit, visit the... the doctor. Perfect, Wilfredo. Excellent. Now, we got Maggie. She has a broken leg. Edward, the first sentence. Teacher, uh, what the meaning broken leg? Una pierna rota. Okay. She, she should rest at home. Okay. She should rest at home. Perfect. Now, Carlos, you got next. She shouldn't jump in the park. 
He shouldn't jump in the park. Perfect. Fausto, you got the last one here. She shouldn't play soccer. She shouldn't play soccer, obviously, right? It's a broken leg. Perfect, Fausto. Now, these are Alex and Wanda. It's raining outside today. So let's see, Fernando, tell me. They shouldn't play outside today. They shouldn't play outside today. Perfect. Now, Francisco, you got next. They shouldn't play soccer. They shouldn't. Where are right of they go out? Oh, you went to the last one. They shouldn't wear a raincoat if they go out. They should. They should wear a raincoat. Ellos deberían usar un raincoat no impermeable if they go out. Now, the second question. Thank you, Carla. The second question. The second sentence. I'm sorry. They drink something hot. Tell me, Carla, is should or shouldn't? Okay, I think we have a problem there. Let's see, Maria Alejandra, the second sentence. They should drink something hot. They should drink something hot. Perfect. Now, next one. Marta and Adelinda. This is Serena. She has homework. She shouldn't play with her smartphone now. She shouldn't play shouldn't. with her smartphone now. Perfect. Yeah, because she has homework. Excellent, Marta. Rita, your turn. The second. She should hurry up and finish. She should hurry up and finish. Perfect. Now, let's see. Roxana, your turn. She should ask for help. She should ask for help. Perfect. Okay, guys. Excellent. Don't worry, Ambar, don't worry. Now, let's see the exercise. We go now to the manual, okay? Okay, in the manual, as we are talking about procedures and policies, and it says here, how to use should. Use the modal verb should for its strong advice and recommendation. Okay. The structure, remember, subject should plus the verb plus complement. Now, the affirmative statements. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. She should be on time every day. Negative statement. Employees shouldn't smoke in the facility. We should not forget to wear the uniform. Now, we are going to do an activity, okay, guys? We are going to use it for recommendations and advice, should, okay? Let's see, I'm going to divide you in groups. I will pass by each group 
telling you a problem I have, okay? And you are going to tell me recommendations, okay? So there's going to be four groups. Wait for me. You will, you will tell me at least one recommendation per student, okay? In the group, per member in the group. But I want you to help each other in the building up of the conversation. Pero quiero que nos ayudemos a construir la oración, okay? So let's see. Groups are created, please jump in. Hey, Wilfredo. Hello. Okay, guys, look, uh, let's see. Carla, Francisco, Fausto, and Wilfredo. My car broke down. So I need your help. Give me advice. My car broke down. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Look, Roxana. My wife is mad at me. She's angry. So guys, help me out. What is the meaning for mad at me? Mad at me, molesta. Oh, okay. So you help me. <laughs> that is a okay. big problem. Okay. Okay, let's see. My problem, guys, is this. I don't like uh, Silvia, you know. I I don't get along with Silvia. No me llevo bien con Silvia. So give me advice. How could I fix that? ¿Cómo puedo arreglar eso? You too, Silvia. Yes, I don't get along with the teacher. Too. Okay. What do you recommend, oh. guys? <laughs> Okay, guys, look, my problem is this. I broke my hand. So, advices. At least one per person. Okay, using should, remember. I guess that, but I don't know uh, what what uh, do you think the rest of the group? Uh, what was my problem? My uh, car broke down, right? Teacher. Yes. Uh, we we were talking about what we have to do. And okay. I told I told told them. You told us that your car broke down. We yeah. have to make a sentences. Using making... should. Should. Yeah. Using should. Uh, like, for example. Uh, you should call for a mechanic. Yeah. Uh, or... You should call for a call. Give me advice uh, like that. Okay. Yeah. You should go to the mechanic every month to check your car. Hey, where's Yanira? Yanira is not here, teacher. It's not, it's not. That's weird. Uh, only yes. three in, in our team. Oh, yeah. Silvia should bring. Yanira. Hi, teacher. Que no se me fue para el grupo. I don't receive a message. Ok, la voy a poner en un grupo y luego la voy a regresar al grupo que le corresponde, ok? Ok.
Did you receive the message? Sil she, Sylvia shouldn't worry about that. Oh, really? Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. I, shouldn't I think, worry about that. I just We're thinking about should. It was should. Sylvia should uh -huh, worry about uh -huh, that. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. I will <laughs> right now. Hey guys, two minutes, two minutes, and that's it. Okay. You see protectors. What? He should use protectors. It should use a protector on your arms. Yes, it's the correct. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. Or perhaps, let's see. Um... It should use uh, protectors. On... Oh, it's on a ferula. Excuse me? What about a uh, splint? Splint. Perula. Um, teacher, uh, protectors in. Cuando usted esté bien, debería de usar protectores para manejar. Oh, esta bicicleta. okay. To ride, to ride a motorcycle. To ride. Yeah, uh, ride a motorcycle. Yeah, nobody should go out on a motorcycle if it's raining ever. It's so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty dangerous. I have ridden in uh, under the rain and man, it's terrible. It's horrible. I have ridden since uh, San Jose Villanueva to my house to San Martin under the rain. It's horrible. Mm. Uh, for, for example, seconds. Did the system kick you up? Yo creo que el sistema me lo sacó a todo, ¿verdad? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sometimes that happens with Zoom. Okay, let's see, let's see. Group number one was composed of Fausto, Francisco, Carla, and Wilfredo. Okay, guys, what was me, my problem? Do you remember? Yeah, your, your car um, was broke down. Okay, broke down. The car broke down. Okay, guys. So, what are the advices you got for me? Okay. The, the first advice is that you should, you should go to mechanic every month to check your car. Okay, but advice, advice. Yeah, the first advice for you. Okay, next. Who else is going to participate? It was four people in this group. 
Fausto, Francisco, okay. Carla. Teacher, uh, okay, Francisco, you. Okay, uh, you should uh, check the, the level oil. Okay, the level of oil. Perfect. Fausto, what about you? You should call the mechanic. You should call the mechanic. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, because if the car breaks down, we should call the mechanic. And Carla left. Okay, group number two. Carlos, Marta, Roxana, and Janira. What was my problem? Your wife is mad with you. I don't at know why. Me, at me. Mad at you. Oh, mad at you. What is the difference in use with with you or at you? She could be mad with me at you. Ella podría estar molesta conmigo. Junto conmigo hacia usted. Uno es con y el otro es hacia. Para. Okay. When she's mad at me, es para conmigo. Ok. El otro es simplemente conmigo. Ok. Ok. So she's mad at me. Ok. Eh... In the first one, you should give a uh, time to talk with her because it's not uh, recom it's not recommendable. Not recommendable. Recommended. It's, it's not recommended uh, you if you are uh, near to her if she oh, are yeah. no. <laughs> if, she, no, if she is mad. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see, Carlos, what's your advice for me? You should, you should take a pillow and go to sleep on the sofa, teacher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that. Yes, okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Marta, what's your advice? Tell me. Oh. Uh, should prepare something special or nice for her, for example, make a dinner. Oh, cyanide. Cyanuro? What do you mean like that? I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> teacher, okay. you have a, your, your, your wife is near to you. No, no, not anymore. She's far away right now. Oh, okay. so I am free. I am free. <laughs> I understand. Okay, Janita, your turn. Give me your advice. You should talk with her more polite because when someone is angry, uh, maybe you need to take her and um, choose the correct word for talk. Choose. choose. Choose the correct word. Choose the correct word. Yeah, whatever. When ladies get mad, doesn't matter how you speak. Come on, teacher. You say that the... Na, 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 na. That the, we are more fine, but um, five or six years ago, in my last work, uh, two guys fighting at the park and was for a gossip. And then, oh, really? yeah, and then the men two are crazy like 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 us yeah you know there are people like that everywhere well thank you very much guys nice group let's see now next group amber fernando maria and sylvia what was my problem oh yeah i remember you know guys i don't i don't get along with sylvia she's i mean ah, i cannot even see her so what are the advices? Let's see, let's see. Uh, Amber, tell me, what's your advice? Well, I think that you, you should in, invite 
Silvia to Olocuilta because it's a good idea you and she must eat pupusas. <laughs> I mean, I I agree that we need to make sacrifices, but not that big. You it's you should try. It. You should try it. That's terrible. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's thank see. Thank you, Amber. Fernando, okay. what's your advice? Uh, I think I think the problem is is that Sylvia like proposals and teacher doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. I think I think Sylvia should bring an apple to the teacher. It's worse sometimes. Or Sylvia should talk to him about the problem and solve it. Okay, perfect. A very serious answer. Thank you very much, Fernando. Maria, what's your advice? Tell me. <laughs> uh, you should meet uh, Sylvia for more time. Mm. You should meet no. What you mean? Meet is reunirse, encontrarse, conocer. Conocer, no, conocerla oh, por más okay. tiempo. Get to know. Uh, get case, to know. You are talking about get to know. Llegar a conocer. Uh, okay. Get to know. You okay. should get to know a Silvia for more time. Okay. Silvia, what about you? What do you think, Silvia? Should we stay like this? <laughs> yes. Um, you should um, go to eat pupusas with me and maybe we can get along. <laughs> I don't see. I don't think so. I will be all the time like, you know. Thank you very much. Perfect. Excellent. Now, the last group was Edward, Rita, and Walter. Let's see. I told them that my problem was that I broke my hand. So, Edward, tell me. What's your advice? Um, he shouldn't go out on a motorcycle if it is raining. Yeah, that's a pretty good advice, no? Not to go out on a motorcycle if it's raining. It's terrible to ride on the rain. Now, Rita, what's your he advice? He should use protector for his arms uh, oh. to ride in motorcycle. Okay, when riding a motorcycle. When riding a motorcycle. Walter, what do you think? Walter. Yeah. Okay, uh, and show no B and the motorcycle. <laughs> okay, she'll not be on a motorcycle. It's, it's, no, it's recommendable. Uh, uh, it's not and recommended. You had, and you had a car. Yeah, actually I do. But <laughs> the problem is that when I go, it's the it's in the countryside so the car i mean could get damaged actually I, i'm gonna get another car just for that okay yeah because i i need a different type of car but i also need the other one so oh man i'm gonna have two cars more expensive that's not good okay let's see let's see janita look Hello, Janita. Hello, teacher. Look, Janita, we have us a problem here. Problem and the problem is with Roxana, okay? I know. Yeah, <laughs> Roxana is, Roxana had a problem with the computer with her computer. The screen is broken. What should she do? Well, if the screen is, is damaged, 
Bien. Eh, she should to buy another screen, another oh. monitor, because it's very difficult to, to change. Okay, is the computer from your company? Ah, okay. And then maybe she shouldn't to report to the... She shouldn't or she should? She should. She should to report to the IT area. Okay. Okay, perfect. And she maybe, and maybe she, she should, she should, she shouldn't to spend money because she need to save money for pay this monitor. <laughs> okay. So no more beauty parlor, no more salon de belleza. No more, uh, no more shoes. For, for take a uh, lunch or breakfast with, food. with the yeah. with her friends. Yeah, no more Mexican food. No more tacos. No more buy shoes. No more tacos. So I will be paid. No okay. Yes. Yes. You give a uh, opportunity. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much, Janina. Now let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 let's see. Roxana, look. I need your help, Roxana. Tell me. Hello. Okay, Roxana, look, we have a problem here. Wilfredo needs to prepare a good lunch. Wilfredo misbehave with his wife. And he wants to make amends. He misbehave at ah. home. And he needs to get in good terms with his wife. At home. And he needs to get in good terms with his wife. What do you recommend him? Maybe she, he, sorry, he should um, buy some flowers and prepare a dinner. Okay, what type of dinner? Romantic dinner. Oh. With uh, velas, how do you say velas? Candles. With candles and flowers and wine, some beef. Okay, perfect, excellent. Nice advices. Okay, Wilfredo. Tell me. Okay, Wilfredo, look, we have a problem, you know, Sylvia, is getting late to her job every day. Okay. What advice should we give her? The first ask the advice. The first advice that I can give her, it advice. is uh, could could be advice. Could be go to bed early and and check check her alarm clock and okay. when she she has to she has to wake up very early to to prepare um, I don't know her her breakfast or her her lunch. To don't don't be late anymore. Okay. To be more responsible. Yeah. She needs to be more responsible. Okay. Thank you very much. Sylvia, your well, turn. Hello, teacher. Okay, Sylvia. Look, we have a problem, a big problem here. The problem is that 
uh, let's see, Amber's, Amber's pets are getting sick very frequently. What advice should you give her? Her pets. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Amber should check the type okay. of food, the type of food that her pets are eating. And, oh, and, and if she and she doesn't know what exactly uh, is a problem, she should go to the veterinary. How do you say that? To the vet. To the vet. To the to the bed. Yes, she should go to the bed. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. It was a very nice exercise. I hope you have liked it. Sometimes we get more to practice. A veces captamos mejor cuando lo practicamos. Let me get the attendance before we leave. Okay. Hold on just a second, guys. Let's see. Amber Eli Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you. Edward Ademir Mayola Brito. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo. Figueroa Molina, Mejía, I'm sorry. Yo estoy en Alexandra Fuentes Molina, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas, Leslie Fernández Ochoa, Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera, María Alejandra Barrientos Romero, Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo, Marta Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez, not here. Okay, before we leave, antes que no vayamos, please remember to work in the platform. And also guys, remember you have a big homework. Recuérdense la tarea grandecita that you are preparing. And remember that on Friday, we will start. El viernes comenzamos. You need to present a product. I told you at the very beginning of the course, yo le dije en el inicio del curso, ¿verdad? Teníamos que presentar un producto. So that's the homework about. This Be Friday. Ready. This Friday goes the first four. Este viernes van los primeros cuatro. Okay. Okay. So we will see. I mean, it was going to be just by chance. Va a ser así, los afortunados, ¿verdad? <laughs> I already got some people on mine. I think I'm going to make it. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you being here. Yes, Rita? I have a problem in the homework 14. Eh, two. Hay una, hay una que nos está apareciendo. Todavía no me lo han arreglado. Les explicaba ayer de que tenemos un problemita con la plataforma y están tratando de arreglármelo. Eh, usted la marca de todas las maneras y no, ninguna le da buena, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Termine todos los ejercicios, deje este ejercicio así incompleto y cuando lo hayan arreglado, yo le aviso para que lo corrijamos. Ok, okay gracias. You're welcome. Hey, guys, any other question? ¿Tengo otra pregunta? No. Ok. Yes. Bye. Teacher, el jueves vamos a recibir clases. Este jueves. Bueno, eh... Esa misma pregunta. Sí, porque... Have a good okay. night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Maria is good like night, this. guys. Maria is like this.
Bye, see you. Okay. Hello, Fernando. Teacher. How are you, mister? Um, I'm tired. Okay, uh, tell me, how can I help you? Is uh, there any topic that has been difficult for you? Are you tema que ha sido difícil? Oh, no, not really. Not really. I, I understand. I like the, the dynamic of the class. Oh, because yeah. Ooh. Because I I um, I can practice, and that's a lot. That's a lot help. Oh, that help a lot. Yeah, it helps a lot. And actually, that's the that's the idea of the class for you to be able to practice to to, to get to yeah. practice as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, for example, today should is I know what is should, and I. I handle it and I don't know, but practice with, with, with the partner is, is very uh, helpful. Yeah, and also it's very helpful when we practice with uh, in situations that are like common happens in situations that, I mean, we could face on a, on a daily basis. And you know, when we talk to friends, friends tell us oh man i got a problem with this and that and then you start giving advices you use should right? right because sometimes the problem is that they ask us to do just the exercise in a book build up sentence but it's not the same as if you put it into a real context okay exactly for example i i think i i better to read i understand more I, when i read that's normal that's pretty uh -huh. normal. Don't worry. That the same happens to me. I mean, my vocabulary when reading is very big, but actually, when you are speaking, you don't use not even half of what you understand when reading. Normalmente, cuando leemos, el vocabulario es amplio, pero a la hora de hablar, nosotros utilizamos ni siquiera la mitad de las palabras que entendemos a leer. And that exactly. happens even in Spanish. Even in Spanish, I mean, you read a paragraph and you understand, even if they are big words or complex words. But the problem is that as on uh, on your everyday speaking, you don't use that vocabulary. I mean, como en su hablar diario, si no, lo, no las pone en práctica, I mean, you never use them, even though you understand them. And that happens in every language, okay? Yeah. So in that case, what I would advise you is this. I look at the recommendation is this. Uh, read more in English because that can help you to get even more vocabulary. And even though you don't use it, ya que sabe que usted no lo usa on a daily basis, if you listen to somebody speaking and using that vocabulary, you will understand and you won't get like confused. Yeah. Yeah, the, the practice is, is important. Yeah, and, I mean, that's the main point. And yeah, uh, by the way, I, I followed your, your advice. I started watch series in English with subtitles in English. Is it helping you? Sorry. Yeah, uh, I, I think I, I, I follow the, the el hilo. Puedo seguir el hilo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The trail. The, the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I follow That's the idea. Cool. Uh, there are many, many, many phrases that I, I don't understand. That's but, normal. But there are. Uh, I feel it's I. You know what it's going to help you? It's going to help you that you will feel more confident. I mean, when speaking with another person, usually what our biggest fear is, is not just not to make ourselves understood. Uno de los temores más grandes es simplemente que, el que no, no nos hagamos entender. 
is also not to be able to understand when somebody else is speaking. Que no, que a veces tenemos miedo de no entender cuando alguien más no está hablando en inglés. I mean, that happens. But if, if you do that exercise, if you keep doing it and doing it and doing it, usted lo continúa haciendo, I mean, it's going to be, that fear always exists. El temor siempre existe, but you will feel a little bit more confident. Se va a sentir más seguro. How? Because when you listen to people speaking, I mean, on, on real life, en su vida, en su vida normal, si usted se encuentra una persona hablando inglés, lo va a comenzar a escuchar, and you will realize that you understand. Se va a dar cuenta que lo entiende. Um, okay. Because I mean, uh, right now, right now for you, it's quite easy to understand my accent because we've been talking in a, in a special environment day after day after day. And this is an intensive course, but it's always good, as I told you, for you to listen to another accent, to native, native speaker, because that way you get a um, better accent. You understand more and you pronounce more. Okay. Okay. Like, I, uh, like you I see, uh, your classmate here, uh, su compañera acá, Silvia, her accent is, is a little bit different, right? Because she yeah. practices. She practices on a daily basis. Lo practica diario. She listens to, to people speaking in English every day. So mm -hmm. it's, it's normal for her. And that Where she works. A lot. She works in a hotel, but uh, 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 in the area of the where people go to surf. Oh. But you know, there's a lot of a lot of tourism. Mm. And that, yeah. of course, helps. Yeah, I need to. I need but, a work like that. <laughs> Well, if you cannot, si usted no puede, that's why I gave you that tip. Por eso le daba ese tip. Listen and now. If you start to listening, eh, si ya llevo un par de semanas haciéndolo, now try to get phrases from there. Trate de agarrar frases de ahí. And try to pronounce them. Trate de pronunciarlas. I mean, if you're watching a, a movie, y encuentro una frase interesante. Eh, you can play back, right? Ahí la podemos regresar. Yeah. Yeah. Listen and try to, to mimic the pronunciation. That could help okay. you too. Eso le podría ayudar. To get a better pronunciation. And it will help just the pronunciation, but also to the fluency. Y no le va a ayudar solamente a la pronunciación, sino a la fluidez. Okay. Okay. So you are going to be getting not just the accent, but also the rhythm. Okay. Okay. So now, now if you start doing that exercise, I will ask you to take the next step. Try, start trying to pronounce, to mimic the pronunciation and the accent. And you will feel the difference in your own pronunciation. Okay, so I will try. I will try yeah. to do it. Yeah. Uh, it. It takes time. Don't don't get frustrated. No se me vaya a frustrar. Uh, Lleva tiempo. No, 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 no. Uh, how consider you about my 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 level in this level? Oh, you're a little bit higher. Usted un poquito más arriba de este nivel. No, okay. Yeah. I you're a little bit higher. You are like in a in an intermediate already. Okay, I uh, I go I go for good way. Okay, no, 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 no. You are you are on the correct path. Just keep on. Solo continue, mantenga. Okay, and um, I need other advice. Uh, how book do you recommend it to read in English? Which books? Oh, uh, which which one? Okay. Let's see. Well, you can check the manuals. I mean, if we talk 
And we talked about the history, it's quite interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Rem remind me tomorrow what I told you, okay? And we'll okay, keep you in touch. Have a good night. Um, to be of uh, help. Uh, but by the way, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, you are not the you are not the, the only person who I know uh, he doesn't like pupusas. My son. Oh my son like Chris. It. No, he's nice and he doesn't like pupusas. He yeah. prefer it other things. Yeah, I understand him. I understand him. It's <laughs> gonna be hard for him. Okay, mister. <laughs> Have a good night. Take care. Oh, night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. See ya.